peace and high frequencies everybody y'all gonna take a little trip with me as i head to the african place which is a black owned store here that sells all of your african needs when it comes down to candles and herbs and clothing and books and i'm looking to see if they got a particular book for a sister on my instagram page that lives in canada and so hopefully they have if they do i'm a mail it to her um because she needs it it's the matter nectar volume one if you're curious and so um i'm coming on to talk about a dream i had last week and um I ain't share it last week because it made me feel some type of way. <laughs> y'all know y'all, we have these dreams sometimes where it's kind of like, and, and, and there's still that program, and I would say, because I remember growing up that my mama would, like, uh, ask about, is the dream, was the dream good or bad? Like, if it's bad, don't say it. Because uh, she knew the power of the words and saying it in speech and we speak things into existence right so that was one of the things like I didn't want to speak it out and say it out to make it uh, formulate itself into this reality and I know we'll have dreams that come to us like that that um, it's people that we love or it's even ourselves and we like mm -mm, I ain't saying this shit and let this come to pass um, but it's been weighing on me and I, it must be somebody out there that needs this particular information. So, um, that's why I'm going to share it. So in the dream, one of the things that came to my awareness and I'm going to talk about is the pancreatic cancer. So I don't know who out there it has pancreatic cancer, who's been having, uh, pancreatic disorders. Um, but I want you all to, first of all, if you know someone, if somebody's in your family that's dealing with pancreatic cancer, pancreatic cancer is specifically what came to me in the dream. So clean up the diet, take out your sugars, take out your unhealthy fats and get on as much of a vegetarian plant-based diet as you can. Okay. And you need to start, or they need to start eating spinach, broccoli, um, of course, um, another thing that they need, healthy herbs. They need to um, make sure they have her herbal therapy. Um, what else was some things I look into? Of course, I've been drinking a lot of pomegranate juice. So, um, getting into a lot of dark reds or high antioxidant foods and high antioxidant rich foods is going to be good because the pancreas plays the role in digestion all right it helps to break down food it also has um, these various enzymes that are released for the breakdown of fats into your system so um, for those who may have pancreatic cancer or pancreatic disorders I want you to look into reishi mushrooms. Reishi mushrooms is definitely good for the pancreas as well. And just Google all the foods that you need to eat and you need to uh, herbs you need to incorporate into your diet if you have uh, pancreatic cancer. Or share this with someone you know that has uh, pancreatic uh, disorder or pancreatic cancer. Um, Okay, some of the other things that I saw in relation um, to pancreatic cancer or some things that's healthy for the pancreas. Of course, I've shared with you the spinach, uh, broccoli, reishi mushroom, high antioxidant was red grapes. Red grapes was also on the list. Um, so one, And make sure they're seeded grapes. Um, and if you haven't read the book, The Grape Cure, um, I suggest you read the book. It's called The Grape Cure. Um, and you can get it for free. So, 
shelf. Another thing would be um, the dark red grapes. Like I said, read the grape cure because that's going to be something that you can do for somebody who may have pancreatic disorder, pancreatic cancers, uh, cancer. If you know somebody that does, or if this is you, if this message is for you, like I said before, clean up your diet, read the grape cure, make sure that if you're eating nothing but the grapes and you do this for an extended period of time, they must be seeded grapes. Um, I did the grape cleanse and detox for my system last year, and um, it's expensive. Um, I'm gonna tell you that it's uh, getting seeded grapes sometimes within your area can be very difficult to find because <laughs> it wasn't easy to find and I bought what they had and I think I bought about three or four bags of it and it ran me almost close to $60 <laughs> just for those few bags of seeded grapes so yeah. okay so it's not it's gonna cost you if you can find it but this is my mindset I'd rather spend the money to help heal my body or for preventative measures than to go through having to heal my body through radiation, medication, chemo, and all the rest of that crap that they, and the poison that they're trying to put in your body. So healing yourself naturally. So I've given you the spinach, the broccoli, the reishi mushroom. You can get a reishi mushroom tincture. You can grow your own reishi mushrooms like I did a couple years ago and now I have a, a big old bottle of tincture that now I can uh, take on a daily basis and give to friends. Um, also you can do the red grapes, make sure they are seeded. Uh, blueberries, blueberries is another thing that you can eat. Um, very high in antioxidant and dark blue. Um, and make sure if, if you know somebody in your area that's a farmer, like here I know a farmer that grows blueberries. I know a farmer here that grows uh, a lot of different foods and even where I work now has our own local farm where we do organic foods and we can get our foods from there now. So having some connection to, to a farm, a local grower, or start your own foods is going to be the best way to get that spinach. Grow your own spinach. Get you a tower garden. If you're interested in getting a tower garden, contact me about the tower garden. But if you have pancreatic cancer, you know somebody who's dealing with pancreatic cancer, I don't know why this came to me in my dream, then I'm sending this message out to you. If someone in your family had pancreatic cancer or has it, then it's also for you to be aware of what you need to do to keep your organs healed. Now, outside of the physical, what we can do, of course, talking about the eating and all of that kind of stuff, um, one of the things that I I did, I did this morning, and um, this is the first time I had combined the two. If you follow Montauk Chia, he always talks about smiling into your organs and smile and be happy, happy to your organs, sending this loving, healing, smiling, happy energy to your organs. And I did that. I combined that with light. I was seeing just the light inside of my organs exuding out. It was like a, a golden light aura around my organs. So not only was I infusing it with happy love energy, just infusing my organs with all this happiness, love, and joy, I also took and just penetrated light energy into my organs so much until I saw it glow gold and glow this light. It, it had this glow around it. Um, and it can be the yellow light. You can be do white light. I know a lot of people like to do the white light. Um, I know some of you may work with uh, the, uh, the uh, violet flame. If you want to do that, the violet flame into your organs, you can do that. Whatever is called to you for healing. Uh, sometimes with our mind, we think about uh, uh, healing as various colors. Whatever color comes to you for healing, then send that. Do that energy to your organs. For me, it's yellow. Yellow, I have yellow all throughout my house. I like yellow and white. Yellow and white just calls to me for healing, for happiness, and it exudes healing and happiness for me, for my head to root energy. Um, but if, whatever calls forth for you, do that. And if it's a family member, do it for them and imagine their body being healed with that light. So, if always, I'm going to leave you in peace and, of course, high frequencies, everybody.